Hello and welcome to 11th part of Bitwig Controller API programming tutorials. And in this part, I want to look in the support for Open Sound Control OC. There is a dedicated API to do OC commands, receiving and sending OC commands. I will not give you an introduction in this tutorial to OC. If you are interested in that, watch my tutorial about the Driven by Moss extension, which also supports specific commands for OC. This is for you here if you want to attach Bitwig to a specific software, or specific hardware, which speaks a specific OSC language, which means there are very specific commands defined for this protocol. And uh, to do this, we need to look into two directions. So you can connect to an OSC server, or you can trigger commands on that OSC server. And the other direction is that you set up your own OSC server running inside of Bitwig to receive commands from the the outside world and to which you can react. To show you this, I created again a simple JavaScript as we learned in the very beginning of this tutorial and in the init function. So our entry door to OC is again the controller host and there is a function to get the OC module. And via this OC module, we can create both a server and also connect to servers. The first direction is very easy. So we want to send commands outside to another server and you simply need to call this connect to UDP server server function, you need to give the address of the server. So here I choose localhost because the software is running on the same computer as I run Bitwig and you need to give a port on which this server is running. We don't need to understand this for a minute. This is if you want to have answers, expect answers to the commands you send out, you can directly connect here your handling code for the responses you might get. This is the same feature we will look into when we set up our own OSC server in a minute. To send out a message, I created this example function here and there is a simple command called send message. You give here your address of this OSC message you want to send out and here you can add all of your parameters. So I added here as an example a string and there is also support for OSC bundles which gives you a performance optimization. If you send a lot of messages at once, it's always a good idea to wrap them into such an OSC bundle. And all you need to do is call start bundle and end bundle before and after your number of messages you send out. Switching to Bitwig, we see I have here this script already running. And if we close that down and go here to our JavaScript console, you see it's already started. And now we can call up this function this send OC message. Before we do that, we need a server who runs on that port somewhere. And to do so, I created a very simple max MSP. So cycling 74's max example, which uh, has already also some support for OC. You just create a server here. If you put in that UDP receive box here and it listens on port 9000 and it simply prints out what it receives on that port, we can now call up our functions send or C message. Remember, you can call JavaScript functions directly here from the console. I execute that and you see Max MSP has received this message here and printed it out. The other direction setting up a server is a little bit more complicated, but also not that difficult. We can add this also in the init function. Again, as with observers and stuff, you have the disadvantages that you need to create your whole setup in the init function. There's no way to change this. So currently it's also not possible to change here the server or the or the port. If you want to change that on runtime, that's currently a drawback. Okay, so receiving, we also need the OSC module we got already up there. And now we create such an address space, which is already we used also up here. And now to this address space, you can register methods. And these are the methods, the, so the language that the US server speaks. You can also say that you want to have some debug output. If then Bitwig receives such a message, it prints out how it got processed by your registered methods, but you should turn it off for a real running system and only enable it for debugging. You could also maybe uh, attach this function to a setting so we can turn it on and off in user interface of the settings of your script. 
Okay, and there is a function to register a method and I did a simple example. I register here the command whatever. Um, this is for filtering by type. I'm not sure this is very helpful. So you can say I want only receive with that message commands that have a string parameter. I'm also not fully sure how this encoding is done here, but you can analyze simply a message if you output uh, such a type tag and then you see what the format is of that and you can then filter for that if you do not care about that you can simply use here the star and then it will simply eat everything every different parameters you get for this whatever command but as an example so you know what this parameter is about i leave that in here you have just a descriptive text i will show you later where that is used and here you need to give a function which reacts to that incoming call and it has two parameters the first one is the source uh, your osc module and and the second one is the received message. So the message has several parameters. You can get all the information about this message. You can get the address pattern, all the types. You can print out all the parameters and so on and so forth. There is another method and I noticed the documentation is not fully correct. It says if the OOC processor here doesn't find a matching method, this method is called, but it seems it only gets called if you have no method registered at all in that address space. But what you could do with that is if you don't register method you could just have the default method and do all the processing in one function so here you would get all the messages in the system and you could do the processing and then all you have to do is say create an UDP server and give here that address space and you also say on which port you want to start that server that's basically all you need to do just register a method and say I want to create an UDP server let's also test that out guess Bitwig has reloaded that auto automatically now it has and back to max msp i not only created here a receiver i also created here a sender so it's just a udp send command to our local host and on his port 8000 and i created several test messages first let's try our whatever with a string that's exactly what we registered this method for you see this is a log output because we enabled logging and this is our own output so you see it says it dispatches to the this whatever message and here this is what we received in the function you see if i have now a different command what it starts also with whatever but it ends with test if i click on that it's not dispatched anywhere and also something completely different does not get dispatched if we now remove that registered function here so we have just our default method. So it says it's no method handler is there, but it is got handled by our default handler. Also that one gets handled by our default handler and also Oink is getting handled by this default handler. You could now simply in that default handler you could now pass the address yourself and do the processing as you like. If you do uh, Java programming instead of JavaScript, the API is uh, completely the same, but there is also another option which is not available with JavaScript. You can call the function register object methods and there you can give in an object. And in that object, all the methods which got assigned such an annotation are then considered as available methods in that address prefix. So there you can say slash whatever, for example, and then have commands like play, stop, and all the methods you have in there which got an annotation of that OOC method are then available under this address prefix. Um, the parameters of that annotation are the same as the register method so you give the sub address of that and you can also filter for types and these three parameters and give a description. Last thing I wanted to show you where this description is appearing so if you go here in the script you see there is a button here an OOC button and this is the advantage if you use the register method instead of passing all yourself so if you click there you will see nothing Thing because we removed uh, the original code. So, and then if you click here on this OSC button, you will see uh, all the registered methods we have, and you would see there is this whatever function uh, available, and here you see the descriptive text. So it's very easy to print out documentation for your API. And this empty address space is the one we created in the beginning for sending out messages. So there we have no methods. Yeah, very quick overview but I think it's also a very easy API to OC and until the next time write some funky code